Hi everybody, it's Teresa with ReStixon.com and I feel like I say this every time, but I think this ornament might be my favorite. I just, I guess it's just every new ornament I complete, I just completely fall over in love with, but oh, this one's pretty great. Uh, so this is this little puffy coat <laughs> that I made and it's a little bit, a little bit on the, oops, a little bit on the, um, more challenging aspect of sewing, but I'm going to walk you through every single step, so don't be afraid. Um, I was inspired to do this coat because I found this great fabric. I was doing all of my shopping at either the thrift store or the remnant bin of my fabric store, and this happened to be in the remnant bin. I never would have gone looking for it otherwise, but it's like this performance fabric, like you use it for a raincoat or something. Um, and it just got my wheels turning and I thought it would be perfect to make a little puffy coat. So I made sure to make you a pattern because I love you and because I want to make this as simple on you as possible, I would not subject you to figuring this all out on your own. So there's a pattern available for you on my blog. Here's the link. Ching. Okay, so I used that pattern to cut out all of my pieces, and here's what they consist of. This is the back of the coat, and then you'll need two pieces to make the front of the coat. You'll need two sleeves, and this is the collar piece, okay? So if you've made the raglan sweater, if you watch the video, it's the same sleeve. So it's really easy sewing on that part. Even as small and fiddly as these pieces can be, it's simple. So the first thing you have to do is make your coat puffy. So before you sew any of your pieces together, you have to do some stitches that you can use to gather. So here's one of the sleeve pieces and I've sewn I really, I just used an arbitrary line on my sewing machine to decide how far apart I wanted to make everything, and then I was just consistent with it. So it doesn't matter at all. The consistency is the important part. I think these are about three quarters of an inch apart. I basically, on the sleeves, just started at the point that would be the armpit, right here, and then went across. And then for the body, I just kind of started at the top and went across. So once I've got all the sewing done of all these little lines, then I'm going to gather it. And that's what's going to give the coat its puffy appearance. So I've left these threads really long so that I have plenty of room to work with. And I'm going to take the back thread and gently, because I've broken these threads before, gently pull it and kind of gather the, the fabric piece up as you go like that. And you don't need to gather it a ton. You don't want to like pull it as tight as it'll go. You just want to make some little ruffles. So you do that for all of the lines and for all of the pieces. The only piece that doesn't get any of those gathering lines is your collar piece. That stays just the way it is. And what we're going to do with that is fold it in half with the right sides together and so these edges closed so that when we turn it right side out we'll have that be a finished edge for our collar so that part i'm going to sew there's all my pieces gathered and now it's time to start assembling so the first thing i'm going to do is make the front of the coat right now it's in these two separate pieces so i'm going to um, fold one side over this is just like how we did the flannel shirt ornaments I'm going to fold one side over and then just sew it right on to the other side. And I'm just going to sew that right next to the edge on my sewing machine. Okay, now it's time to start assembling the coat. So we'll take our sleeves and line the point of that sleeve right up with the neckline and down to match up those points and sew that right down. It's starting to look a little messy with all these tails going everywhere, but that's what that looks like. So you'll do that for the other side as well. Lining that point up with the top, matching up those little armpit points and sewing that right down. So with both of those on, then you'll just take your other, the back piece and bring those sleeves around. Oops so that your right sides are together. 
and match those up again with those little side angles and sew that down. With both sides, our front and back, and our sleeves sewn on, the only thing uh, left before this is all just one big piece is to sew the sides closed. So this time we're actually going to sew the sleeves shut as well. So I'm going to start at the top of that sleeve cuff, go down there, turn that corner, down to the armpit, turn that corner, and down to the bottom. And I'll do that on both sides. Okay, we're getting close. So now we're ready to turn the whole thing inside out. I did snip these armpit sleeves again every time we're sewing an, an ornament like this. You gotta give those little corners room to move. So snipping, oh, it's a little bit harder on this fabric. Okay, so let's turn this right side out. Now that this is right side out, we have to do something about this neckline. So this is where this collar piece that you sewed shut comes in. Let's turn this right side out and make those corners sharp. And this is the most fiddly bit of sewing. So if you want, you can do this by hand. Um, it's way faster with the sewing machine, but you do have to wrestle. These pieces are a little bit small. So I'm gonna take one corner piece and line that up with that seam on the front and then go all the way around until it overlaps with where we started. Okay, and then just sew that all the way around. The hardest part of this is just making sure you don't sew the whole thing shut. You do want to try to keep the other part of it out of your way, which is why you might find it easier to do this part by hand. But it just takes a little bit of time and patience and you can totally do it. Now when I flip this collar up, let's see how cute it is. Oh, I can't stand it. Okay, so now since we are going to be stuffing this, we're going to have to close that neck up. So I'm going to take this opportunity to make our little ornament hanger and just a loop of yarn goes down into that neck and then I'm going to sew it shut. And I'm going to try to hide that stitching by aiming for that steam. In quilting, the seam, not steam. Um, in quilting, we call that stitching in the ditch. You aim for the ditch and that kind of hides your sewing line. I closed up the neck. The sleeves are closed when we sewed that side seam. So it was ready for me to stuff. And I just uh, used more of the stuffing I've been hoarding from my thrift store pillows and uh, stuffed that good and tight. And now you can see all that great puffiness that, that the gathering brings us. So with that done, I'm gonna sew this shut. Since I'm working with a performance fabric that won't fray, I'm just gonna set it, uh, sew it shut and not even worry about hems or anything like that. But you could always just fold that under if you want a clean edge. So there it is. I think it is just so cute. I can't even stand it. I love it so much. And it's gonna be something that's so unique. I've never even seen an ornament like this. It was only my twisted imagination and a little serendipity at the remnant bin that created this thing. <laughs> so I, I think I'm going to make a whole bunch and send them out to people because I think they'll bring such a smile. <laughs> there is just so cute. So thanks for watching everybody. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions. This one might be a little bit of a challenge for you if you're not a comfortable sewer, but you can absolutely do it. And if you run into any problems, then leave me a comment and I'll help you out. Please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss seeing these on the big Christmas tree unveil. And then I've got so many more ideas for this new year coming up. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And we're all on. Hey, Granny.